This video is brought to you by Cons, Cybertron's open new spaceport, the ultimate Transformers fan convention in Germany. Check out www.ntf-cons.d. Once again, that's www.ntf-cons.d. And toynirvana.com, the ultimate resource for Transformers toys and more. Check out ToyNirvana.com Hello guys, this is the Transformers fan page doing a new video review. This time I'm just going to do another TF Talk video. I know in my last video I said I wasn't going to do anymore, but after thinking on it, I decided why not. This is my pre-review of the Creo 2012 Transformers sets for the Quest for Energon Live. Every set will have a brief moment in this video. Let's get started. The Cycle Chase Set. The Cycle Chase Set includes one motorcycle, three Autobot Troopers, one Decepticon, and accessories including the Energon weapon piece, weapons for the Creons, and more. It, it's a little fun set to have, but it's really not too much. Still though, I do like the three Autobot Troopers, but that's basically all that I like in the set. There's really not much going for it. Decepticon Ambush Set. It's a bit of an improvement over the uh, Cycle Chase set, but not that much. The set includes a little buggy, which uh, can be rebuilt into whatever it is. Three Creon Vehicons, a Creon Cliff Jumper, which I like, and an array of accessories and weapons, including the Energon weapon piece. Now, once again, it's a bit of an improvement, but not by much. Stealth Bumblebee Set. Okay, this set looks a little fun. It includes a motorbike with a Creon Mech Soldier. Creon soldiers, a Creon bumblebee, a little Creon dog, and the stealth bumblebee, which looks pretty impressive. Um, a lot of people might disagree on, with that on me, but I think it's okay. And it also includes a little playset, which is not bad. Street Showdown set. Okay, I have mixed feelings about this. I feel like they didn't take too much effort into the build of these. And there are two great characters, especially in Transformers Prime. I do like Wheeljack. I know a lot of people might disagree on that. I know a lot of people say it reminds them of Drift, but I think he's a kind of a cool character. Anyways. The set includes four Creons, Wheeljack, which looks alright, and Knockout, which looks... Okay, I guess. As well as accessories, weapons, and that extra transparent blue body, which doesn't make too much sense. And the Energon piece. Okay, this is the number one set I want out of these Creon's Transformers The Quest for Energon sets. It, it's something that I absolutely want, and that's Rotor Rage set. Includes three Creon's. Another purple body piece, which is weird. A little buggy. <clears throat> Weapons, accessories, including the Energon pieces. And Blast Off! God, he looks cool. <laughs> Man, he just looks so... Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's... It's definitely cool. The Battle for Energon set. With this set, I'm not sure if I like it or don't like it. Once again, mixed feelings. The set includes four Creons, one very small playset, Energon weapon pieces, an Optimus Prime, and Megatron. Now, Megatron, I don't feel like they put too much effort into the build. Yeah, it's Megatron, but still, he looks crappy as ever. Optimus Prime is completely different. I do like Optimus Prime. I think the look, it's pretty good. 
My only complaint on Optimus Prime would be the legs, but I think everything else draws away from that. Construction Site Devastator, the last one. Now this set includes six Creons with accessories, play sets, Energon weapon pieces, and of course Devastator, which becomes four robots. First, let's take a look at the robots. Now, it's easy to spot the weakest link with these four robots. I think they're pretty cool. They look gorgeous to me um, for for Creon Transformers. I think they're a lot of fun. They have a lot of play value. I wish they had six instead of the four, but I think it's okay. Now, Devastator combined, it's not that great. I feel like they just tried to put too much into it. Uh, yeah, it's Creo. You can rebuild it however you want. But still, I mean, the official build, but it's not that bad of a set. I I'm just going to leave it at that. Overall, I like the play value, but as a collector, it's really nothing to get excited about. The Rotor Rage set looks good, but that's basically the only highlight I can see out of this. The only one that I'm going to get. If you do collect them all, you can also build the ultimate Energon weapon. And it doesn't look half bad. But it's not really worth it in the end for all those sets. Overall, if you want to get them, get them. That's all I'm going to say. Definitely recommend the Rotor Rage set. So, I thank you guys for watching. Please support your fellow Transformers fans whenever needed. Please like the Transformers fan page. There's a link below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace!